All right, even with the seats up, we can fit in two ultralight fishing rods. We're gonna throw in a little tackle box, a pair of pliers, because I don't know where my love is that I'm gonna keep in here. Um, my dad cleaned out a pond yesterday, mm -hmm. took down all the cattails, so we are gonna go ahead and see if we can catch anything. You can see this looks all tore up. My dad took an excavator through here. Uh, looks pretty murky. We're gonna see if we can find a place to cast. Just see what's out here. There's a gap. Let's shoot that and see if anything bites. All right, so this pond has zero fishing pressure. Uh, up until now, all I've caught is little half dollar, dollar size bluegills, silver dollar size bluegills. I threw a couple channel cats in here a few years ago. Uh, but it's pretty murky so this phoebe if there's something hungry and small in there this will catch it we're just on a shakespeare ultralight so see what we can do all right that is so thick that this can't even get down it's just making a line uh, on top with all the scum so what we're going to try to do we're going to throw just the smallest curly tail grub we can with a real tiny jig head i think the problem is that's probably a quarter ounce jig head i don't even know if there's anything big enough in the pond that'll hit this but this is just sitting on the top and accumulating gunk. So we might as well try to get into the water, see if anything will hit. All right, that should at least break the surface. I'm not too optimistic, but we might as well give it a shot. Uh, this is one of two ponds on the farm. This one is pretty much a trash pond. The other one has some decent sized bass in it. All right, the issue is this water is so thick. You can see those trails. That's where I pulled everything through. So even if this lure is getting down, it's so scummed up, it's not gonna have any action at all. So this is kind of a waste. Uh, what we can do, we can come back with a minnow trap and see if we can catch anything little just as a sample. But again, you're gonna need a giant lure to cut through all this goop. And there's nothing big enough in this pond, to my knowledge, that'll hit a giant lure. So all you're doing is pulling, and pulling through slime. All right, let's grab a fishing rod for the little dude. This is classic Zebco Doc Devil. We can't show ourselves getting skunked, so we'll run over to the good clean pond. All right, this is the better pond. It's probably only a third of an acre, uh, maybe even a little less, but it's clean. Every once in a while, you get some decent fish in here. So let's see what we can do. We don't want to get skunked on video. Right, buddy? Pro tip, if you're fishing with little kids, have a really good wife who brings bubbles to keep them occupied. Not much, but it's something. Little bass. Little bass. And I think that's a rebel crawdad. A tiny little largemouth. It's a little largemouth bass, buddy. What do you think? Think we can catch a bigger one? Yeah. All right. All right, this is the deeper side of the pond. There's the overflow. There's the spillway. There was a maple tree here that was in pretty rough shape. So we took it out with the excavator. Probably gonna try to stick some willow twigs in here. Just so you have a little bit of shade. Uh, that's south facing sun so it gets pretty hot so it'd be nice to have a little shade tree back here but uh we'll see if we can catch anything in a little bit deeper water really come on buddy go ahead you got it <gasps> what'd you get a big fish baba, daddy, oh, good baba. Job. reel it up reel it up all right pick it up daddy got a fish. not a bad way to kill a half hour on the weekend thanks for watching